All right, well, the developers wanted to make sure that people understood that they don't need the other DLCs to um, play in any of the DLCs, meaning they all have their own independent start. So we're going to be starting with the 1940. Um, hmm, do we want to give our general a name here? I don't know. Hans. We'll just call him Hans. And S. Hans. All right. General Hans. I know that isn't quite the historical thing. Hey, Scooter. How you doing? Okay, so we have to pick out our strengths. And if we want to do more than one, well, we could do some minor um, that we have to also give some weaknesses. So, um... Tank units cost less slots. Yes, since this is Panzer General, we want Panzers. Now, I don't know. Um, fear the unknown. Poor maintenance breakdown. Green Army retrograde. Denied artillery. No over strength in logistics. Mm, these all have costs. I don't want to. Delayed reinforcement, cannot use replacements in the... Uh, no. Hey, John. How are you doing? Chaotic fire. And if we reduce supply at the beginning of the turn, cost. No, nope, we're just going to go with just being a Panzer General. I don't like any of these. Really the unknown, slow modernization. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. General Hans, it appears that the situation in Norway requires our immediate intervention. The invasion is not going to plan, and our forces have been rushed from Denmark to reinforce the invasion. Our plan leaves a our plan leaves uh, plan leaves has been our plan leave has been postponed. Now, I, yeah. And our transports have been redirected from Copenhagen to join the operation to seize Oslo. As ever, I will do my best to explain the tactical situation once again been thrust into, but this time is of the essence that I better brief you immediately. Primary objective, capture three victory hexes. Okay. Um, the reason for the emergency redeployment is that the primary invasion force has been intercepted. They were destined for the Norwegian capital of Oslo when they started taking fire in what we thought was an unmanned fortification. Yes, Denmark did have several coastal fortifications. I don't know if any of them actually fired on the Germans historically. High Command redirected our transports with impressive speed, but it is clear our arrival on the battlefield is very late. KMS Blutcher is burning and her sailors have already begun to abandon ship. I'm afraid there is probably nothing we can do for them. Therefore, our forces must be on assisting the airborne troops at Fornbill. I'm probably butchering that too. These advanced forces have been fighting on the ground around Fornbill. Wish my friend. Toyjet was here because he's Swedish, so he could probably get my pronunciation better. The BF-110 escorts ran out of fuel and were forced to land. The objective of their attack was to take Oslo's main airfields and force the city to surrender without a protracted fight. There is still time to help them succeed in their mission. If you can reinforce their positions quickly enough, I, re 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 I recommend we send a number of our own paratroopers to assist um, backup by our own aircraft as soon as they are in range of Forna Boot. The skies have not been cleared of Norwegian fighter biplanes, although so any JU 52s we send should be accompanied by BF 109 escorts to reduce losses from any interceptions. While our aircraft fly, our remaining ground forces will need to fight their way up along the coast of the fjord. Be warned without the Camus Butcher. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. I'm remembering now as I'm saying all this. Yeah, they were shot in the fjord. 
Um, any destroyers provided escorts or landing craft would be easy prey for Norwegian mines and warships. Okay, to victory for Germany. Right. Okay, so this is the sort of um, predetermined um, setup here. Hello, Lanzer. And Grey Knights here, very good. Hello, and hello, Jaculius. Good to have you all here. And so, and I, I'm very happy to uh, go with their um, uh, request that I, sh that I let you guys know, and I know most of you probably watching here. Oh, and Vish Van Bishop here is already here as well, good. Um, that you don't need to buy you know, the Spanish or the 1939 Operations DLC if you just want to play 1940 or any of them. But if you do have the earlier ones and you wish to, you can follow through with your core forces because some of the other playthroughs that I've been doing, and I know some of you, some of the regulars have been around for all of them, know that we have, say, some um, like Azul infantry, blue infantry, left over from the Spanish campaign still fighting with us and things like that. So I really love the idea that you can build and customize your, your sort of special core um, very nicely. And one of the things that jumps out with this over the original Panzer Corps or old Panzer General is the idea of um, uh, leaders within the the units so that is an important factor as well that you can do and we've been a bunch were um, put on so we're all these are already all deployed so what I want to do here is look at some okay um We will have some more um, slots to buy some more stuff. So one of the things I think I want to maybe buy. Six slots for this. And that. We have the points to buy it. Um, we can take quickly take a look here. I don't think anything else here takes six slots. So we're going to buy big honking artillery. And oh, we have repairs up here. We're going to hold the the air base and we're going to try to resupply them mm. I wonder how well we're going to be able to deal with all these mines so we're going to deploy him here but what we're going to do here is I know we're doing a lot more setup than normal for that but I think this is important here we have a lot of these our specialty leaders um, Adolf Gallen can only be assigned to um, uh, aircraft, but we're going to put zero slots Wolfgang Schneider here uh, and so that he um, gets uh, no slots use. So, um, as we can see here, unit um, unit slots cost is reduced to zero. So we have um, basically a free big honking artillery piece. So I sort of like that. Now, um, I want to look. Heroes, lightning attack.
Where did they put? Well, let's just. Sign hero. I want to put um, double moves here. So this way, this Stuka will be able to get an attack on a target, and if it's within range, move off the target. So we can do double um, air attacks there. Uh, he has rapid fire, so double. That's pretty good. I like that. Now, um, we have some of our Folsom Jaegers. So we have this sort of two-phased or three-phased element here. We want to we want to help up here. We have we can obviously start landing stuff on the coast to start fighting our way up, but that might just be a bit of a delay. So um, we'll have to see about that. Okay, uh, we can shift uh, maybe some. Ooh, why? Scavenger, no, let's. Okay, he's the support tank. Okay, so long as he's next to everything else. Right. Right, okay. Good. So let's. And the deployment. Oh, you have some unused core so it could be used. Yeah, we should. Um, do you want to? Uh, no. Let's 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 purchase out. Um, now that I'm thinking about that. Maybe we need to protect those structures. Oh, for sure. But let's see about what does the terrain look like? F somewhat open but not terribly okay infantry grenadiers we'll at least start out on the water we do this we do this. What would we do for one point? Anything useful? Anti tank. Don't think we're going to be facing tanks. Not enough. Okay, so we're going to purchase another aircraft. And that should leave us with two points here. And yeah, we'll go with the 38T. We'll also put that on the water there. Right, okay. Right, okay. Now, hello. Those are the bad guys. Well, actually, the good guys, but they're the ones we're fighting.
very good overrun, but we have no more movement points. Another armored car is at sea at the moment, currently it appears. Mm. That'll fire back at us and do damage. The Norwegians had, because I was first mistaken this for Denmark, but no, the Norwegians um, had very strong coastal artillery they also had um uh fortified shore base torpedoes so let's see we're gonna rush as far oh okay that didn't work out so well um gamers getting our ship sunk hello pit fiend okay so um now we can do minimal sort of damage to that um no i should have bought some more well those guys are going to get on airplanes and fly up north Yep, thought so. Now those are nice anti-tank guns, which will probably not do... Well, hello. There's anti-aircraft gun and fighters. Well, now we know where they are. Oh, Ara, how you doing? And Ares here. Where's the landing craft? Landing. Where is landing at? We're moving up. And own fire oaken shield. This is Norway, if that's what you're asking. A more detailed look than what we saw with the standard base game for Norway. Now, um,. He's going to come up here and escort these two aircraft. He's going to come up and escort that aircraft. Oh, good. Um, motor torpedo boats. Oh. Ouch. Man, this is going to be bloody. I think. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this will be a very good, memorable version of how not to play this scenario, but we'll see. This is literally the very first time I've played this. Okay, came all the way back to there.
Yeah. Other torpedo boats. That was what I was a little worried about. Panzers in the hills. Okay, well, we're trying to protect these structures here of the um, landed aircraft. weaken them. Okay, let's see if we can clear the skies. Oh, enemy fighters. Somewhat. Now you, Stuka, is going to come over. Well, actually, no, we're not going to see back. We're going to let's. Okay, well. Okay, we just move slowly, maybe up here. Hello, okay, so. Oh, no, okay. Because he has the multi-move, so he's going to be escorting. This convoy forward to hopefully get up to the north as fast as possible. escorted there. Well, it did hurt us a little bit. Good, they're taken down. Overrun, yes, that would be useful. Very good. That will allow me to reinforce these guys back to some semblance of capabilities. Good. These guys can only get to here. Hmm. 
now I want to put these guys and embark them on airplane and see if we can get them somewhere useful. Yeah, and they also scout. you on air bases for next turn. Well, since you are a bit hurt, we'll move you over to here and block him in with that unit. That is fresh. Take the damage with there. Um, there you well, I guess come around this way. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, we're bouncing off everywhere. Okay, we are really stuck in here. I do remember right, the Blucher did sink in the campaign. All right, gentlemen. I'm going to hope these guys are... They should be escorted. I know. I know. I know we have there, but I'm hoping to come in and just be able to. Parachute in. Uh oh, what are we facing here? Some. damaging than I hope for a single strength unit. Okay. these guys hopefully fully and completely now how far can we get we can get right to there It's, well, let's, hmm, we have our, hero there. Now he'll get Amy assistance. them. That is good. And there we go, we spotted another enemy destroy well, and an, an enemy destroyer. Hmm. 
use some wicked air power on them. The segmented movement of the unit is working wonders at reconnaissance. So we're looking to bring him out front. Now we'll bring him up to there. Just because we do have the destroyer, but hopefully he has to honor the thing. This is the start of no no problem. Um hello. Nisei? Um, sorry, I'm sure I'm butchering that. Uh, I know I say that a lot. But this is the beginning of the 1940 DLC that we're having a look at, and this is the Norway campaign. Very first scenario you find in that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see how close can we get that. Not that close, but still. Let's move you to these hills and get you out of your trucks. Well, that'll let us take the airbase, which forces the aircraft somewhere else. That is nice. the forward air base but maybe not this well maybe what we should have been doing all along oh no um oh he, he um i think we'll let the bludger sink Kill the infantry on our rear. Okay, well, just in them. No problem about that. I'm here to answer questions. If any of you have questions, uh, preferably about the game, World War II. Norway, I don't know, stuff like that. Um, you can ask them. I will attempt to answer them. No, up here, okay. Our limited force. These guys are not doing well. I think just stay whatever level of entrenchment you've been able to achieve. Is going down up. They decided to do an attack on our troops ashore. They decided to munch our troops. Since we have a reasonably decent crowd here at the moment, I want to let you guys know that I will be streaming on December 7th, uh, Monday, 
uh, Order of Battle, and we will be playing the Pearl Harbor um, scenario with Order of Battle. Wanted to let you all, we thought that would be appropriate, so you guys might want to show up for the December 7th. Okay, let's come here and drop down and get that. Yes, we're encircled, we're parachutists. Um, Yeah, we're going to take this opportunity to get out of our airplane and we'll come and take this airbase as well. Now, um, what I think we will do now here is see if we can rebase. Oh, no, we can't rebase up to there. No, okay. Hoping we could rebase to those air bases, but I guess not yet. No. Okay. Well, there is our friendly little destroyer. Oh, we'll take out the Another torpedo boat first with you. One of these Morris armored cars? Yeah, it's a Morris armored cars. Cool. Escort, and who can we strike with these? 
Ah, oh, the armored car is very good. Now, our reconnaissance barges. Yeah, they just get to sink. I'm making that command decision. That artillery. Move that up as well. There we go. Yep, yeah, we lost the blitzer. Yes, thanks so much for the follow. But use that high ground to, well, not, I didn't use the artillery back up there to your advantage. Support fire. Okay, well. Guys are also low on morale. Is it um one eleven? I like one elevens. I know they're not the greatest airplanes, but just the symmetry of their um hull is rather cool. Does allow us another airstrike on them, so that one won't do any good or much good.
Right, so far so good, I guess. Back in the south again. And more motor torpedo boats. Great. Okay. For heroic defense level one, survivor. Very good. Pulsar Meager's doing well. With that at least. Okay, well, you are not doing terribly well. With those infantry there. Mm, not ready to lose some reconnaissance vehicles. We don't really want that to happen. Completely uh, sink you. Um, well, we're going to take this guy to make sure. Good. Not completely sunk, no. always seem to do this. Get my units into bad, bad situations. Okay, fall back. You come to here. You come to here. Let's undo that, should I? No. Very good. Just going to keep moving. Pretend we're not having any casualties. Men won't mind. They like swimming in the ocean. Get you a little closer up there. Okay, oh. Well. What happened? Where'd you go? What? Undo. No, no, undo. Well, we can come up to here with you, I guess. So, yeah, we'll do this. Can you get up to there? No. You can't get to here. Okay. 
So our 110 was able to get up here. Now, um, no. Okay, good. Those guys were being annoying. Right, there we go. 